maiden name is Patterson. They come from Copley. My mother is a Agnamakano person from the Pindus Rangers. My dad's from Central Australia, he's a Kweani man. And I got both the side of the culture. I've learned from mum and dad. They have a lot of respect for their culture. And yeah, and in this last, my maiden name was Coltar. And I'm from, I was born up in the Windus Ranges. Oh, yeah. yeah, born up in the, where the look of the National Park, Yaman Ranges National Park is now. I'm, I'm Regina McKenzie. Um, I'm an Ajumatma person here on this land and I live at Yapple Station which is right next door to Wolverdina where they're going to get the nuclear waste dump. Um, for the last 10 years we've worked on, on our um, storyline which is called the Corona. Looking at our land, wherever we go we look at our beautiful land and it's passed down to us from old people. Nari, yata, ngapul yata na nuka wando, no re yata anjitan jenang. That means we won't be on this land for long. We're gonna go away, directly and pass away. You, we leave this land for you people, you young ones to take over and look after and respect. Wow. And um, you know, from like Linda said, from early childhood, we were always. It was always drummed into us. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Be careful how much noise you make as kids. You know, respect the land because the spirits are still alive mm. in our land. And you know, not only for Adnamatna people, I believe that this happens with, with all Aboriginal people. It doesn't matter where we are, you know, from sunrise to sundown, from north to south, you know. And I think that. It's, it's, I, I don't only think, I, I know it's part of our culture, it's part of our custom. And I'd like, I'd like people to, to see the amount of tourists that comes through to see and visit the Flinders Ranges, and to see it's an icon of South, South Australia, and to have a, a nuclear waste dump in the Flinders Ranges is a, is a big no-no, it's something I don't think people travel from away across the world just to see a, a waste dump. It's got no meaning, nothing. Yeah. Mm. There is going to be leakage, there is going to be damage to this dump area, and it will go back into our water table. Mm. Um, that's the scary part of it. Mm. We just don't want it in our land. Yeah, these things happen now, it's so sad. Mm. What's happening to our land? Mm. What's, what's going to happen and what we are trying to, you know, support each other to fight for mm -hmm. this land. We don't want anything mm -hmm. to happen to our land anymore. It's been destroyed enough and mm -hmm. we lost some of our dream time stories now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we spoke in language out there today. Mm -hmm. We talked about the Aoi and the Murla, the water and the gravel. We talked and we talked about Akura, he's our dream time serpent. We talked about the Unamburu. Unamburu is all the reeds that hold the water in place. They're there for a reason. They can it, yeah, they can get burnt out by bushfires, but they will always come back. They will always bounce back. What I want to see with my country is and this is a part of the storyline. We want, we want non-Aboriginal people to understand how we look at the, the landscape, how we, how we view it. And the storyline is the best way to do it because I believe the Muda is our past, our present, and our future. We had our past with our old people, and we've come into the present of now, which we have non-Aboriginal people, which is part now part of our Muda. And I'd like. Uh, I'd like the Australian people to look at our belief system and respect that. And some, some of them, I'd love to see them embrace the storylines and embrace it for as their own and pass it on to not only 
Non è un'idea di fare, è un'idea di fare, non è un'idea di fare. Non è un'idea di fare, non è un'idea di fare. And there's so much that you could do with culture, storyline tools. You can do, you can create so much work out of culture. And the best way to do it is by talking about bridging the gap. Working with Aboriginal people in our culture and in our storylines is the best way to bridge the gap. The only way I'll stop fighting is if I die, and that I won't stop fighting. It's something that. I, I love the yoke, I love the story and I love my my belief system. Mm. And that's what it is, it's, a, it's an attack on our, our belief system. We, um, Aboriginal people since colonisation, we, we've struggled in trying to survive mm. our new world and we're holding on to what we have of our, our culture heritage. And We've been stripped of so much, you know, at least leave us to have, to pass this on to our, um, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. Mm. We want some legacy of our culture to be saved. Yes, with the, with, the, with, the, with the action plan that we have, we, we'll fight this, to, like I said before, we'll fight this to the end.